What's going on? How y'all doing? What's happening? What's happening? How y'all doing? Video going to be about the Tom Brady Bill Belichick showdown. I'm going to do my football takes in a little bit, but I want to touch on this. Now, there was the Jordan and Phil Jackson 6'6", six, six, and then you got this 6'6". Six, six. But this 6'6 six, six was different because unlike Jordan and Phil, who got ran out of Chicago by Jerry Reinstall from Krause, etc., and broke that up, this was because Belichick wanted Brady gone. He wanted to prove that he could win with any quarterback there. Kind of remind me of how Jerry Jones was with with uh, Coach Jimmy Johnson back in Dallas. And they won back-to-back rings, and he got rid of them. And he got Barry Switzer, and he won a ring. But it's been 25 years since Dallas has won a ring. But Jerry Jones said, I could get 499 others. And I think Belichick is thinking, I could get 499 other people to replace Tom Brady and could do it again. Because he was a six-round draft pick, number 199 from the University of Michigan. He tried with Cam Newton, a great college player, has a trophy, national champion, league MVP in the NFL, Super Bowl run over the Carolina Panthers. Cam might be past his pull date, but should he have been pulled so soon by New England? No. Because I still think if he was playing right now, they might be 3-1. and one. But it didn't work. And then the backup turkeys they had didn't work, and now they stuck with Mac Jones, Alabama, who is decent. He looks good, but he's a rookie, and you can definitely tell. But the way they parted, Belichick is feeling the heat because he comes across an old, curmudgeon, hateful, spiteful, thinks he's, thinks he's the end-all, be-all in the room, and everything he's doing right now is like, like it's backfiring. And letting Brady go at the age of 40-plus, and he went to Tampa Bay and got a ring. And I always say, the thing that hurts me more on my team, you don't never let a ring go out the door. That's a metaphor for everything. If it's a good ring, you know. Like people going with the line, you don't let a ring go. Guy getting the playoffs has a decent scene, you can go, okay. Because championship in a conference is like, okay. Get to the show or could win or wins, you got egg on your face. And Belichick got egg on the face. So now that not only Brady went and got his seventh ring, won a ring in Tampa Bay with another coach, another team, and another division, but he came to your house last night and won the game. So he didn't beat you multiple ways. And then you got Brady's father who spoke out and Brady's trainer spoke out against Belichick. So Belichick feel like I got to patch this, got to save some face because it ain't looking good. It looking very once and rightfully so because Belichick is not a nice dude unless the ones who know him. But the bottom line is in public per- perception, He's known as cheap, standoffish, aloof, one of the greatest head coaches ever and one of the greatest defensive minds ever. But this matter we're letting Brady rock and how it looks out, ain't doing him no justice. So Brady got the upper hand right now. He got the upper hand. He better hope Mac Jones pans out and he better hope New England can turn their fortunes in the next year or two because... Uh, the owner, Robert Kraft, is going to start looking at Belichick sideways, cross-side, and crazy if they don't start, don't get good. And they're not beating my Buffalo Bills, by the way. They're not in the same capacity. New England right now, if I'm being honest, they're in the back of the bus. They're a second-tier team in the AFC. They're not seeing Buffalo. They're not seeing Kansas City. They're not seeing Cleveland. They're not seeing Baltimore. They're going to see what happens with the Chargers. They got they're in the back of the bus. They second tier and the second to third tier is being honest. Second tier is a compliment. Second to third is somewhere in between. So anyway, that's my thoughts and takes about the Brady Belichick re, uh, reunion. And Brady right now is sitting in the catbird seat. And no matter what he says, he wanted to stick it to him. And I'm glad he won. Belichick needs some humble pie because he really be acting full of it. And that team. Needs a wide receiver, need a running game. The defense is all right, but they kind of spied in their secondary. They're not there. They spend a lot of money. But, you know, you got to have a quarterback. You got to have a quarterback. I'm out.